hello, and welcome back to another episode of KPRDX A News, your source for good news. We are so excited to have you again. And what's that? Breaking news, another breaking news. God has gathered his people again. day in and day out. He gathers us to pray together, to study his word together, to praise him together. This is amazing and such a gift that he's always gathering us together. So when I ask this, I can't wait to hear your answer. Who gathers his people? God gathers his people. That's right. One more time. Who gathers his people? God gathers his people. I mean, amazing a perfect record. And you know what? Today is a special day, a special day for us here at Paradox Kids Live because today marks, drum roll please, our one year birthday for Paradox Kids Live. I mean, wow, we are gonna just cover so much of the life of Paradox Kids Live. I'm sorry. It just feels like yesterday when we were dropping you off the just and then <laughs> it's throwing the football and I was catching it. Like, you're such a good paradox kid in life. <laughs> oh man, I remember, remember that time when the fish and then <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I was uh I just get caught up sometimes. <laughs> Where are we? Um uh, okay, well, anyways, we're, we're gonna get more to the, the celebrations, but uh, in the meantime, get ready for a party that you're not gonna wanna miss. As you can tell by my hat, we are gonna be celebrating Paradox Kids Live turning one today. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? What? <laughs> what is this? Wait, and this is what? my blazer. This is my seat. Um, I don't know about that. I've been here a while. Okay, no, and no, no, where no. have you Who been? Where have I been is none of your business. Well, it kind of is when you're trying to run a new show. But this is my seat and my new show. Oh, really? Let's see. Haley seat. Oh, that's funny. I don't okay, see it you anywhere. Know, you know this is my seat, and you know I'm the news anchor for KPRDX News. Oh, also, fine. I've heard what is this? You've like changed the name of the news or something? You know what? Sometimes you change up the letters and you forget what you're trying to say and you go with it. Sorry! Well, all I'm trying to say is that this is my news script and this is my seat. You know what? Fine. You can have it. Okay, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back. I think I might need these. My glasses? Who said those are yours? They're my glasses. How am I okay. supposed to see now? Okay, all is right in the world now. Welcome. It feels so good to be back on the set of KPRDX News. And yes, it's called KPRDX, and those are all the letters in it. So before we get going with our segments today, we need to hear a quick word from our sponsors. We'll be right back.
Man, where would we be without our sponsor, The Freeze Dance Co., the first ever company to combine the Arctic and the arts. I am so thankful for them. All right, as Logan was trying to say, in honor of Paradox Kids Live turning one today, we're bringing back some of the old faithfuls. You know, the ones that this whole thing started with. And our first segment today is one that you have been asking for for weeks now. America fell in love with her a long time ago in her first interview, and everyone wants to know, where is she now? Well, she's here today to tell you folks, and you know her, you love her. Let's give a warm welcome to the Morgan Fry. Here she is, everybody. Hello, Haley. Hello, Hello Paradox Kids Live. Oh my goodness. Morgan, you're still carrying around your own chair with you. Yes, but this is a new and improved chair that got one. I don't know if you can see it, but look, it spins. If I unlock it, oh. it's amazing. It's made out of gopher wood. Gopher Did wood. Did you hear that? It is made out of gopher so, wood. So, you know, it's a new chair. I love it. I bring it with me everywhere because I just got back from a trip, Haley. So, well, I am so glad to be here because Paradox Kids Live has impacted me so much. So, it's just an well, honor to be here. you got to tell us more. Okay, so you got back from a trip. You have a new stool. What have you been up to, man? Morgan? Well, you know, honestly, I... When I saw y'all last, I had been performing. And you know what? I was really tired. So I decided to spend 10 months, 10 months traveling, riding. I just got back from a retreat in West Virginia. I literally walked off the plane and drove here. So you know what? Well, I'm fresh. Thank you for joining I'm fresh. us today. So the retreat was restful. The rest It was so restful. Can you give us some insight to some of the songs you wrote on that retreat? Well, some were more fun. You know, you got to start out with some fun songs, yeah, yeah. you know, like the, you know, the freeze dance songs that really got me into it. Did but you write the freeze dance songs? I, I think I did. I kind of helped with that a little bit, but don't tell anyone. No one knows that. Top secret. But I'm super pumped about this one song. It's called You Were There. So I was just reflecting on how God has been there from the very beginning. He was on the cross and he did that because he loved us, but then he's now right here with us every single day. And so I just got, like it's fresh. That song just came out. Did you hear that? We have exclusive footage here to Morgan Fry's latest single called You Were There. Morgan, before we wrap up, I have a couple questions for you. Number one, could you give us a little insight to what You Were There sounds like? Maybe a little... Okay, so no one has ever heard that. So it's only been sung in the privacy of my own woods, you know, that I was walking in. In West Virginia. In West Virginia, but here we go. Okay. You were there hanging on the tree because you set me free. Whoa! Everybody give more your so, a round of applause. I cannot wait to hear that track come out as your next single. Man, you are headed in really good places. Okay, lastly, before we wrap up this interview, how are those routines you told us about on the last episode? Do you oh. remember your breakfast routine? And how's that all going? Oh my goodness, the breakfast routine. You know what? I've upped my moisturizer game. Let me tell you, so you know how I put oatmeal on my face? You know what I've done now is I do a oatmeal peanut butter banana blend. So you put the peanut butter on first, then the oatmeal, and then the banana on the eyes. It's so that is and then why guess this what? You can eat it good. afterwards. Oh my gosh! So it's, it's a like moisturizer on your and face. a breakfast. So wow. I'll send the recipe later. Okay, yeah, maybe her recipe will be. She'll sing her recipe as another song on her newest That's hit great, single. That's a great idea. Yeah, on your next writing I, retreat. You know, I think I'd better go get going. Yeah, on she's gonna go. Okay, she's gonna go make her breakfast routine. Breakfast on your face. That's what it's gonna be called. Ooh, breakfast on breakfast your face. Breakfast on your face. Breakfast, breakfast on your face. face. Get those bananas in the cream and the oh peanut butter. Okay. Oh, Do y'all oh. hear this? You've got to go. You've got to. Okay, I'll be back. Hot, bye, guys. Go. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you so much, yes, Morgan Prime. Wow. Y'all have been looking forward to that interview forever. And now y'all know exactly where Morgan Fry is today. Man, okay, well, we'll be right back for a real live celebration of Paradox Kids Live turning one year old. Stay tight, Paradox Kids. Now it's time to take it to our field reporter, Logan Grills. You all know him and love him too. And now that we've officially solved the bee mystery, why they were dying at an alarming rate globally, we're going to take it back to another curious discovery Logan Grills was starting to make way on. Do you remember the Mattafish? We all know the Mattafish and we've all seen the Mattafish before. It's a beautiful hybrid of, well, 
Matt and a fish, the Matta fish. Today, Logan is reporting his newest findings on this rare species. To you, Logan. Thanks, Haley. I mean, I've been out here for ages, and I mean ages, looking into the issue of the Matta fish. But before we get there, I just want to say one thing. My second cousin thrice removed, Jacob Grills, did not solve the bee mystery. I am still looking for an answer to that. I was not satisfied. Anyways, the matter fish. I mean, I've been out here for forever trying to find out everything I can about this absolute beaut of a species. I mean, beaut. But I don't take my word for it. Why don't we interview a live, living, breathing matter fish? Hey, Matt, come on. Come on, boy. Yeah, it's a good Matt. Yeah, come on over here, Matt. Oh, look at you. Cry, this a beauty. Hey, Matt, how's it going out here, mate? Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello to you too, mate. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Like, look at the gills on that one. Man, what's it like being part Matt, part fish? Pretty good. Oh, I couldn't have said it better myself, mate. I mean, brilliant. Say, so, Matt, what kind of stuff are you eating out here in the deep, dark, blue sea? Worms. <laughs> oh, man, I mean, I couldn't, you can't make this stuff up. Crikey. Okay, one last question for you. Oh, who's the cutest little guy? I am. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely right. All right, you get on out of here. You get on out of here. Wow, I mean, absolute beauty of a species. There's nothing like it. Wow, okay, well, this is enough fun for me. I'm Logan Grills. It's been an absolute pleasure. Back to you in the studio, Haley. Whoa. Did y'all see that matta fish? It seems like the rare species is really thriving at the bottom of the deep, dark sea. I mean, I've never seen them doing better, and it was so good to catch up with Logan Grills and hear about all of his rare, weird research findings that I'm really sure never really go anywhere, but you know, that's okay. So before we move on to our biggest headline of the day, we have a true tale coming up for you from thousands of years ago, but we can't move on without singing happy birthday to Paradox Kids Live. I mean, today's the actual day. How could we, how could we not sing? So I want y'all to join, but I also need everyone else to come up with me and sing happy birthday to our one-year-old. Happy birthday! Okay, I said I wanted to sing Paradox Kids Live happy birthday, not get the, I mean, I wanted to eat this with all of my friends and I wanted to eat it with all of you, but now, well, that tastes pretty good actually, maybe I still could eat it. Okay, honestly, Logan and I need to go work some stuff out. I think he's a little upset with me because I took my proper place um, as the host of KPRDX News. But without further ado, you know, I think that we need to get to our story today, the true tale from thousands of years ago. So while I'll go clean myself up from Logan smashing this on my face, we're going to cut to the field and catch up on all the action in Jerusalem. Thanks, Haley. We have some exciting news here from Jerusalem. As you can see, the walls are complete. We learned last week that it was really hard for the Israelites to finish the walls. In fact, their enemies were really not against, not for them. They were trying to make it hard, trying to make it so that the people couldn't finish the walls. But Nehemiah came and God used him to spur on his people and to encourage them so that the walls could be finished. So here we are, the walls are completed and they look great, but it's time to celebrate. I mean, the Israelites couldn't have done this on their own. It's because of God, the fact that God is in control and that God is with his people. That's why these walls were able to be completed. So the men and the women and the children and everyone in the city is gathering together at the walls so they can listen to God's word. Here in a second, we're gonna take you to someone named Ezra. Ezra is a priest who's gonna be reading the word of God to all of God's people. And that's gonna be a really special moment. And I think that we're gonna learn a lot from it. But it might be a little confusing at times. And so I think we should pray to God. 
After all, if God can help his people to build walls even when our enemies are at the door, surely he can help us to understand his word as well. So why don't we pray together? Dear God, thank you so much that you are good, Lord, that you are in control of everything and that you're on our side. God, you um, want what's best for us. Um, God, you're for your glory and you're for our good. And we're so thankful for that. Lord, as we listen to your word, would you help us? Help us to understand your word. God, help us to understand what you're teaching us, uh, what you want us to learn. Lord, in all things, we just ask that you would shape our hearts to love you, that you'd shape our hearts to look more like Jesus. God, we love you so much and we trust you. And it's in your name we pray, amen. All right, kids, I think it's time we go straight to the action. And as we do, I want you to remember that this is a real tale, all right? We're not making any of this up. This is all real. It happened thousands of years ago and it comes straight from God's word. All right, this is enough from me. Let's go to the action. The Lord is good to all, and his mercy is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power, to make known to the children of man your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hands. You satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He also hears their cries and saves them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen. 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 Whoa, I am telling y'all, we've said this a lot here on Paradox Kids Life, but God's word is powerful. God's word is true and it's alive and it changes us. And we're watching God's word change people right here. As Ezra keeps reading God's word, the people listening are starting to love God more and more. Listening to God, God's word is changing the people's hearts. Now, I have a question for you. Did you know that our hearts need to be changed too? My heart and your heart need to be changed by Jesus because without him, our hearts are dead. You and I both disobey God and our hearts are full of sin. But the truth is we cannot change our hearts by ourselves. We need Jesus to come change our hearts. Only he can make our hearts come to life and wash us from all of our sins. Man, let's cut back to the action to see how God's word keeps changing the hearts of his people. Back to you, Ezra. Can you believe this is the 24th day that we're all gathering together to hear Ezra share the law of, of God? And, and so far we have learned that we are sinful and broken, and it is nearly impossible to keep God's word on our own. Mm, you're so right. As I heard Ezra share over and over again the laws, I realized like it is hard to follow God's laws. And I'm, I realized like if I put myself in each of those laws, I realized like I've messed up so many times. And when I don't follow God's law, I break God's heart. 
Like, I am so sad because I've loved other things besides God yeah. and His law. Yeah, Morgan, all of these things that we are learning about ourselves and our sinful nature are good and right things, but today is not a day to be weeping and mourning. It is a holy day to the Lord and it is a joyful day. What do you mean? How can I be joyful when I am so sad and I've broken God's heart? Man, that is confusing. How in the world are we supposed to have joy after we know how sinful and broken we are? How do we have joy when we know how much we mess up and that we break God's law all the time? It's a very good question, and I think it's one that only God's Word can answer. So let's look straight to our Bibles for the answer. Here's my Bible, and I'm going to be reading out of Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 17. Here's what it says. It says, they refused to obey and were not mindful of the wonders that you performed among them. But they stiffened their neck and appointed a leader to return to their slavery. But you are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And you did not forsake them. Wow, that is the very reason that we can be joyful in our sin. The answer to that question is exactly because of the character of God. Did y'all hear what the Bible just said? It said that God is ready to forgive you. That means we can have joy when we sin because we serve a God who forgives us in our sin. He knows that we are sinners and he loves us anyways. Even when we love other things more than God or when we disobey God, God still loves us more than we could ever imagine. God is ready to forgive the Levites in our story, and he's ready to forgive you and me. Let's get back to the action to see what happens. Our God has dealt faithfully to us, even in our wickedness. He is ready to forgive. He is gracious and merciful towards me. He does not become angry towards me, but he loves me. He will never leave us alone. Exactly, and that's why today is a joyful day, and there's no need to be sad. He forgives us of forgives us of our sins and doesn't leave us there. Do you want to repent of your sins and worship God? Yes, I do. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that you are a God of forgiveness. God, today I want to confess that I have loved other things. I've wanted attention from other people. I've wanted things for my own glory. And I confess that I have not given you the glory that you deserve. God, will you forgive me? for not loving you first. Dear God, I want to worship you and serve you and obey you alone. God, I wanna live my life for you and not for myself. Thank you, God, for loving me and forgiving me and setting me free. Amen. Amen. Go home and prepare a feast. Eat rich food and drink sweet drinks. Today is holy to the Lord our God. This is not a day to be sad because the joy of the Lord is your strength. just keeps getting better and better. Now they're about to go have a feast and celebrate and throw a big party, kind of like we did earlier for Paradox Kids Live turning one years old. You know, I want to help you understand why we can throw a party after we understand our sin. Did you see in the story that God's love for Morgan moved her to turn away from her sin and worship God? Worshiping God is not about following a bunch of rules, but instead it's about loving God more than we love anything else. And you know what? God loves us more than he loves anything else in the whole world. Did you know that when we turn away from our sins, we get to celebrate just like Ezra invited Morgan to do? All the Levites threw a huge party and they ate really good food and celebrated with friends. They were celebrating that God loved them and forgave them, and they were celebrating how good God is to them. We get to celebrate how good God is to us, too, and the fact that He loves us so much that He would forgive us in our sin. Oh my goodness, I cannot stop yes. rejoicing. Thank you, God, that your word changes people and shows us that you love us. Mm -hmm. God, thank you so much for forgiving 
me for forgiving us and forgiving everyone in the whole world. Woo, I just can't stop. Lots of da 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 da. Lots of da 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 da. Lots of da 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 da. I have told y'all over and over again, there is so much to celebrate today. I thought a few minutes ago that celebrating Paradox Kids Live's first birthday was gonna be the biggest thing that we had to celebrate. I mean, did y'all see them smash the cake in my face? But we have something even bigger to celebrate, and it's the fact that God's faithfulness to us, how much He loves us, is greater than our sin. And God wants us to celebrate His goodness. Celebrating God's goodness is honoring and worshipful to God. So one way that we get to celebrate God's goodness is by responding to God in song. Today, we're going to sing only Jesus. Jesus is the only one who can change our hearts and save us from our sin. So if you're able, it's time to get on your feet and sing with us. It's time to sing only Jesus. able to forgive only Jesus who is our righteousness only Jesus who opens up our eyes only Jesus who reaches down for us only Jesus who shows the fire There's no one 
I love getting to sing to God in response to how good he is. And I love that song, Only Jesus, talking about how only Jesus can save us from our sins. You know what? Another way that we can respond to God is by confessing our sins to him, just like the Levites did in the story. Because God is ready to forgive us, we can freely confess our sins to him. And you know what? I think we should bring Morgan back and she can help lead us in how to confess our sins to God. So why don't you all welcome her back? Morgan, come on down. Hello, Haley. I am pumped to be back with you guys because confession is one of my favorite things to do. Because I used to be really afraid of confessing because I felt like God was mad at me and angry when I sinned. But guess what I learned? Through the story today and through what Jesus is doing in my heart, God wants to hear our hearts and it's a joyful thing because he loves us so much. So I'm pumped, I'm pumped to be here. Oh, she is, that is so, I can't wait to hear more about this. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Morgan? We have some kids in the audience of KPRGX News. You know, my producers behind the scenes are telling me that we've had some questions called in about how to confess our sins to God. So they're excited about it too, I think, because you're so excited about it. learned about it in the story, but how do we do it? What does it look like to confess our sins to God? Yeah, so I'm going to take us through a few minutes where we're going to walk through how do we confess our sins to God. And so there's a few ways you can do it. You can close your eyes, you can open your eyes, and personally, I like to write my confessions down to God because He hears us. And so during this time, I'm going to ask you a few questions. And as I do that, I want us to share our hearts with God, confess our sins because He hears us. So right now, go ahead, find a spot where you feel comfortable, get out a piece of paper, and And as I ask you these questions, I want you to confess your sins either through writing down, in your heart, or out loud, because God wants to hear your heart. Okay? Are you ready, Haley? Got it. I'm ready. I think I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. Perfect. Well, first, let's thank God for how much He loves us and for His forgiveness. Dear Jesus, I thank you so, so much that you love me, that you sent your Son, and that you do give us forgiveness. Second, let's tell God that we are sinners and we need him. God, we cannot do this life without you. Every day is hard if we live it without you, and we need you to help us. Third, let's confess our sins to God. Where have you sinned? Maybe where have you loved other things besides Jesus this week? Go ahead and write those down and tell God. Fourth, now that we've written down ways that we've sinned against God, let's go ahead and ask God to forgive us of those sins. So go ahead and thank God and ask him for forgiveness. Now, Let's tell God that we love him and we are so thankful for his forgiveness. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for coming to earth and thank you for forgiving me of my sin. Because of you, I no longer have to live in fear and shame and worry, but now I can rejoice because you have forgiven me of my sins. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Morgan, thank you so much for leading us in that. I am just so thankful that we have a God who loves to hear when we confess our sins, and we don't have to be afraid to come to him and confess our sins. But instead, he wants us to confess them so he can forgive us. That is really powerful. It's amazing, Haley. And guess what? You can do this every single day. You don't have to have us leading you through this. You can do this every single day because Jesus is with you, and he wants to forgive you. He sure does. Morgan, thanks so much for coming. We just learned so much from you about how to confess our sins to God. It was so good to see you again. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Before we go, I have some exciting news. She has some exciting news. Okay, so do you know how we just went through a prayer confession? That's not just for us. That's not just for you. It's not just for me. It it is for? for every single person in the whole world. Every single person? Isn't that amazing? So guess what? You're sitting at home or you're sitting here at church, and guess what? 
Like we've heard God's good news. Yeah. And the good news is that we were sinners. We are bad people. But guess what? Because he loved us and created us, yeah. he sent Jesus. And because of his forgiveness, we get to be free. We get to be That's free. That's literally the best news in the whole entire world. In it turns your frowns upside world. down. It gets you pumped. So let me tell you, it's like, um, it's like your favorite candy. You know what? It's one thing to eat it by yourself, but when you share it with others, it's even better. Okay, so let me tell you, next week is one of the most important days of our whole entire year. That's because true. we get to invite, well, we get to invite everyone every week. Yeah. But next week is Easter Sunday, where we are going to be telling all our friends about the good news of Jesus. So this week, I want you to think about one friend. So actually, take some time right now. Close your eyes, think about one friend. Hmm. Think about one friend. I've got a friend. Do I've you got, have a friend? I have a friend, yeah. Okay. I want to share a candy bar with them, but I like really want to invite them to church. Okay, I think both of those are great options. How about I invite them to church by sharing a candy bar with them? That's a great idea. That's amazing. That Maybe. is amazing. Okay, keep going. So okay. if they thought of their friend. Okay, so you thought of your friend. And this week, I want you to ask them to come to church with you next Sunday. It's going to be a time where we are going to celebrate, we're going to rejoice, and we're going to be reminded that we are loved no matter what. So because we've been forgiven, mm -hmm. we get to forgive others, but then we also get to share with them the good news of Jesus. So we want our church to be full of all our friends next week. We do. We do want our church to be full of all of our friends. And you know what? If you have not started coming back to church in person yet, you can still invite your friends to church by sending them Paradox Kids Live. So we get to tell people through Paradox Kids Live about the good news of Jesus. So if you show them where to find these videos, you can tell them about the good news of Jesus too. That is some good news. Man, so that is what we're being sent on mission with this week. Your mission this week is to invite one friend to church, either in person or online. You think they're going to do that? Oh my goodness. I think they're going to do it. I think so too. That's awesome. So as God sends us on mission, he sends us on mission with this. Matthew 28 verses 19 through 20 say this, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. We will see you next week on Easter Sunday, Paradox Kids. Go in peace. Thank you.